All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with this tutorial so far. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is using uh, generators or procedurally generate uh, breakup on the skin. So as we saw at the beginning, the bat creature is much more of a blue purple. And right now it looks like a like a 13 year old boy with acne. So let's um, let's adjust it. Let's get it going uh, before we start with anything. I want to come in here and come up to the sky. So if you're in any one of these, just click sky. And you can see which uh, map we have. It doesn't really matter which one you have at the moment. We're going to end up setting up our own lighting once we get a little further. But for now, the first thing I want to do is just so it's not this bright uh, background, I kind of want to change it to a darker background so the creature really stands out. So down here, if you look under mode, it says ambient sky. Let's go to color. And then let's choose that color. And let's just bring it a little darker there we go just a little bit yeah, that way the creature just pops a little bit more so i'm not being drawn away from the creature okay all right let's begin um sometimes when you open up marmoset like i said earlier um everything will be collapsed so just the rehash we don't want to be in classic which is just the renderer setup will give you your orthographic views um which is not what we want to be we want to be in the texture renderer okay and you have to hit, click on the project that you want there we go. Now we're in here. You can see I have both the UV setup and the 3D setup here. Okay. You can see we're still in the body. Here's a fill layer. This is for the nose. So let's call this nose fill layer. All right, cool. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, start doing some breakup for this creature. So let's come up here to the add new fill layer. It'll cover the whole thing, which is perfect. And let's go into albedo. Let's go ahead and choose like a purple, like a dark purple, just for now. Uh, let's call this skin breakup one. Let's right click. Let's go ahead and add a black mask. Now that we're in here, let's go up here and see our uh, procedural layer. We also have a dirt. Um, for now, let's go over here to our procedural layer. Let's look in and see if we can get some noise in here. Let's start with Perlan and see how that works. Okay, you can see it kind of blotched over the entire creature, which is exactly what we want, minus the teeth and the claws, because we have that mask on the body folder. But you can see it's really big and blotchy, and this is kind of what we're looking for. It's just not as detailed as we want. So you can, if you're having trouble seeing, you can always crank the intensity up. So let's do that just while we're placing it on there. Uh, let's adjust the scale. There we go. Let's we can start from um, big to small here. Okay, so let's get a nice or small to big, depending on how you want to go. Okay, so now we've done a nice little coating on this creature. Okay, it just adds a little bit of uh, a variation here in this purple. Uh, let's go ahead and click back into the layer and out of the mask, and let's try to adjust this to overlay. Ooh, I don't like that. How about where is Lighten? No, that's not working either. Uh, linear burn. Not liking that. All right, so we are going to say screen. All right, we're going to stay in normal standard for this one, okay? All right, perfect. Now that we're here, let's go back into the mask. You can see we're up here. Let's click on the Perlin, uh, Perlin where we were. Uh, you can adjust the intensity here, okay? You can make it less... You can make it more. Let's go a little bit less. We can also do this by um, by blurring. So you can come up here if you like to have the control there a little bit. So we can come up here in the Perlin layer. Let's come up here to our adjustment layer. Let's add a blur. And you can see there we got a little bit of a blur and we can adjust how many pixels we want. Well, let's just do a slight blur. Perfect. All right, so there is our... Whoop, let's close that down let's come back to here there's our first layer breakup and we'll come back in and we'll adjust the how much we want it to interact but right now let's keep it like this you can see the creature is now a much more of a purple let's go ahead and do this again we can um, duplicate this uh, so control D and that'll duplicate again let's come in here and choose a different color so let's choose more of like a let's go with like an orange uh, let's go with like an orangey red 
So the goal here is we definitely want blues and purples, but we also want um, subtle like skin variations. Uh, so it doesn't all need to be purple and blue. So we want to have that pinks, that oranges, and all those other things. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm going to double click this and open it up. I'm going to go actually and delete this blur layer. And we can see where it's at. Let's increase the intensity. Let's decrease the scale. All right, let's adjust the contrast. There we go. Let's actually drag this entire layer, click off the layer and drag it beneath this layer. There we go. All right. Let's click back in here and let's adjust the intensity. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and click here and let's drop the opacity a little bit on this, okay? All right, and let's go ahead and click here. Let's go ahead and duplicate again. Choose the color, let's choose a, let's go with more of a purple, let's go with a more of a, let's go with a little bit warmer of a purple. Let's go right there and see how that works. And if you're having trouble seeing it, just go ahead and turn these other layers off. Let's click in here. Let's go ahead and turn the blur off for now. Let's go into the Perlin noise. And let's adjust, let's see. Let's make it real dark so it's hard to see. I mean, easier to see. There we go, let's make it, let's make these ones a little bit bigger. There we go. Really. Let's see, did that actually do anything? Not really, huh? Overlay's not playing well. Okay, standard. Okay, perfect. Um, let's go ahead and turn that blur back on. Let's go ahead and increase that blur. Good. Okay, and let's go ahead and drag that opacity. Oh, that's the blur opacity. Make sure you click off of that into the entire layer. Let's take that opacity down. Let's keep it just slightly. And let's turn on these other ones. There we go, cool. Let's go ahead and duplicate it again. Let's go ahead and actually choose a blue color this time. Let's see if we can get some less saturated blue color in there. Let's see, what is what are we doing here? Okay, let's go ahead and click in here. Let's take the blur off. Let's go into the Perlin noise. Let's turn everything else off so we can see what we're dealing with here. This. All right, since we duplicated this out, we got to turn the layer back up so we can see it better. Let's click back in here, back into the Perlin noise, and let's make some adjustments. Micro, that's fine. Contrast, let's make sure we get a lot of contrast. There are little dots, that's looking good. Intensity. All right, all right, let's go back to the skin. Let's tone it down just a bit. There we go, that's better. And you can see is once we get in here, we're getting a nice little, a nice little breakup. Let's tone this down just a little bit. Let's go to one. We're getting a nice little breakup on the skin. So that is exactly what we want here is just a slight variation in the skin and we can kind of go through these and see how each one is affecting all right so that one's affecting a lot so we can actually go in and uh, adjust this blur a little bit more there we go at the moment we're not looking for harsh breakups on anything we're just looking for um we're just looking for a standard uh a standard breakup of the skin skin is very um very different if you look up under microscope it's not like just a tan color if you're looking at human skin or like a darker brown color it's actually in uh in some cases it's different colors of orange and pinks and yellows or browns and purples and blues um so you really have to look at the hue so we are just going to continue building off of this and we're not too concerned with specific parts of the creature yet. I'm not concerned about getting the big variations of color into the uh, inner ears or the yellow or painting um, any super variations. Everything here is just to get breakup on the skin, just to make the creature look a little bit 
um, a little bit different. Uh, just so that skin at a distance reads as multiple colors. It's really hard to tell from here, but it adds a lot of believability as you get in. Okay, and you can do this in, uh, until you're liking. So the next thing I'm gonna do, we're just gonna say that this is a decent base. Please go in and adjust it as much as you'd like. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is add another fill layer. Okay, we're just gonna alt click albedo, just so we're just adjusting that. Let's go ahead and choose a dark purple. Okay, let's go ahead and right click, add a mask, add a black mask. Let's come up here to the input processor layer and let's select curvature. All right, and right now you can see where we are, edge cavity, edge intensity. Um, if it's hard to see, we can turn off all the other layers and you can kind of get a better uh, visualization of what's going on. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get rid of the edges and the edge thickness. Uh, so what we're doing here is we are adjusting it. We're taking it off of the edge and putting it in the cavity. So if I were to turn this off completely and adjust the edge, it would uh, it would choose the edges instead of the uh, the high raises instead of the cavity portion. So we're actually going to shoot for the cavity here. So now that we have the cavity, let's turn the cavity intensity up. Let's do cavity thickness a little bit. So now we've selected all of the cavities, okay? Which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want to add a darkness to the cavity. We're already using a cavity map, but this is going to be just a slight um, a slight adjustment here. So if I turn all these back on, you can see that it kind of adds a little bit more skin feeling to it. It's a little dark and that's not what we want. So before we move, let's click back into the layer itself. Let's go ahead and click bump. And bump is gonna give us a height, uh, height adjustment. So if I drag this up, it'll move. If I drag this down, it'll get a little bit deeper. So let's give a little bit of a height adjustment. And as you can see, you might be able to see a little bit better right here. Actually, let's come down here and make sure height is in our adjustable. Um, okay, cool. So now we got a little height adjustment. Okay. Cool. Um, so now we're here. Bring it back. Let's actually name this to cavity breakup. All right. So now we can, let's see, let's adjust some of these. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and turn this entire layer down. If we didn't want to adjust the height of it, we would actually, instead of albedo, we drop down to bump. Um, and we click this little and this little button here and it would separate the height from the, uh, the color or the albedo. But right now we're not too, um, we don't need that. So let's just drag this whole thing down a little bit. There we go. Let's take a look at our creature now. See how we look from a midpoint? It's a little, there we go. All right, good. Now we got some cavity in there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add a blur. So I'm gonna click here, um, back up to adjustment layer, add a blur. And I'm gonna drag that blur down so we can see it, but so it's not harsh. Perfect. Now you can see we get a little bit of breakup. We might have to paint some of this out. It might be getting a little too harsh, but for the moment, we're just doing an overall. All right, so let's go ahead and click cavity breakup, control D. We're gonna get, uh, it's gonna duplicate on itself and let's go ahead and uh, let's call this edge breakup. Okay, perfect. Let's click back in here. Let's get rid of the bump. We don't need it. Let's click the color. Let's go to a, uh, let's go more of a red color. Let's see, like a red pink. Perfect. Let's go ahead and click the blur off so we can see better. Select the curvature layer. Let's turn cavity off this time and let's go edge. Let's turn the edge on. Let's see if we can get closer and see what this is doing. So you can see we're getting a slight breakup on all, on all the height, okay? We can adjust the contrast. Um, if I could actually select it, there we go. This is a good way to select if you want just the edge the, or the, the fine edges or the or uh, the large scale edges, okay? Or if you want the intensity to be up. All right, let's take a look and see how we're looking. Now you can see we're getting highlights on all the uh, the top portions of it. Okay, cool. 
Let's uh, go ahead and turn the blur back on. And let's turn that blur down to two. All right, let's close that out. And let's go ahead and see how we're looking. Standard, I like overlay actually. Off, on, off, on, and then off, on. All right, you can see that now that we've done this procedural portion of it, you can see that now the creature is actually slowly coming to life without any hand painting. I don't even have my tablet on right now. This is all with a mouse. I don't need to actually jump in here and do any hand painting yet. We can get a pretty good base estab established without jumping in uh, and hand painting anything. So at the moment, you can see we have a decent, a de a decent skin breakup. And um, if you're not happy with how it's looking, we can always come in and adjust. So this one still feels a little dark to me. I'm actually gonna drag down the opacity just, oh, not, actually that's not what I'm looking for. Um, that's this one, the skin breakup, okay? And you can label them a little bit better if you want. I'm gonna drag that down just a little bit to give me more of a pinkish. There we go. Uh, there. Let's adjust it. There we go. So I'm pretty happy with this one. Let's make sure this one's still up. Cavity breakup. Let's. All right, cool. Um, so now that we're here, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, create another folder. Let's see. I definitely don't want that folder in that folder. So let's go ahead and add a mask, add a black mask. Cool. Let's go ahead up here to adjustment layer, processor, there we go. Input process, color selection, ID, and let's go ahead and choose the nails for this one. Let's go ahead and create a new, no, no I'm sorry, we don't want that. Get out, of, uh, get out of the mask, let's just click over here. Let's create a new fill layer. Let's drag that fill layer into our folder. And this will be our claw base okay this is uh just a real quick um color we just want it to, to pull away from what we've been doing uh that way it's not just gray so we have just a slight a slight off color we can adjust uh the roughness if we want it to be uh, shiny or not shiny we don't need metal normal bump we actually don't need any of that right now uh, a little scatter's fine Okay, and that'll give us our base, and we can go ahead and name this Claws. Let's go ahead and close that down. Let's go ahead and select the folder, and let's duplicate it. Let's call this Teeth. And let's go ahead and select this. Let's click it open. Let's choose Color Selection. Let's go ahead and close that out. All right, all it did is delete the color selection of the Claws. We're going to still be in the layer settings. Add New, and now we can choose the Teeth. Boom. All right, cool. Now the teeth have a little bit of, uh, of color and roughness on them, and so do the claws. So this is where we're going to leave this video. <clears throat> I'm just going to save this. Uh, this is where we're going to leave this video, <clears throat> which is just a procedural breakup of the skin. I'll probably go in and do a, uh, another couple passes of smaller, uh, smaller dots. It looks like it needs it. Um, we have bigger breakup, but we'll need a smaller breakup. Um, the next video, we will be covering um, some hand-painted uh, major adjustments. So we're talking about adjusting the webbing, adjusting the colors on the inner ears, the body, um, some major color differences between uh, everything and start to get this creature to come together. So I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Thank you.